Hello, welcome to SS Small Time Media. This is Arjun Kokunda. Today, we will be learning about geometric patterns. Our objective for the day will be understanding how to build geometric patterns and continuing them. Take a look at this question. Look at the block towers below. Do you see a pattern? Where is it? What would be the next two? So we need to figure out what the pattern is here. And then we should figure out what would be the next two towers. The next two towers here are in a different color because those are the ones we're going to be figuring out. So now on the first one, the original one, there are six blocks. And then it goes to seven. Let's highlight the new one. And then it goes to eight. Then nine. It just keeps adding up here. So that's why it says in the original one, which is zero, it says six. And then seven. And then eight. It just keeps adding by one. Now we do the same thing here. You just add it by one. So this one would have one right here. And then this one would have two. Because, sorry about that. Okay, so now let's count. We know that this was nine. And we just added one right here. Let's highlight the added ones. So now let's just count. The, uh, the one right here had 9. So 9 plus 1, 10. So this right here is 10. Now we had 10 and then we added 1 this one. So 11. Now, let's take a look at this question. As you can see, the first one has, sorry about that. The first one has two, and the second one is added by four. The unhighlighted un ones are the ones that are being added. So, but over here, it's being added by a different number. So let me highlight the ones from here. So except the ones in green, everything else has been added. Over here, we're only adding one, two, three, and four. But over here, it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's being added differently each time. So that would mean these two will be added differently too. So let's take a look at the table at the bottom. So if you pay close attention from here to here, it would be plus 4 again, like that. And then from here to here, it would be plus 6. So your best guess would be from here to here would be plus 8. Because plus 2, 4 plus 2 is 6, and then 6 plus 2 is 8. So this would be 10, but let's do it over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And sorry, that was not 10, that was supposed to be 20. And now let's just add these over here. Okay, now we need to add 10 over here, because I mean, it's here's 10, that would be 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. There it is. So this would be 30. Actually, I forgot to do that. Okay, now, pause this video and try these two patterns by yourself.
Try to figure out the next two. Okay, did you get a solution? Now, let's try it together. So, as you can see, this one is a bit easier and different from other questions. So, this has six. So, one, I mean, no, nine, sorry, not six. Two, three, one, two, three. Okay, that's the original. Now let's highlight the original over here. Let's highlight the original in all of them, actually. So, over here, it's being added by 3. And now, over here, it'd be added by 6 from the original. But we're looking at from this, so 3. It'd be added by 3, 2. So, we're adding it by 3. So, we do the same here. 1... Two and three. Now let's do the same here. One, two, and three because it needs to match this. Now let's add three again. One, two, and three. Now let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and 18. This has 8. Oh, wait, sorry. I'm supposed to do the pencil. 18. Now, this is 18 plus 3, so that would have 21. Okay, now. Oh, sorry. Something was done. Okay. Now, take a look at this. This one is completely different from the other ones. Because if you pay close attention, let me change the highlighter. Okay, now this has seven. But if you count this, it has only six. And this has five. So it's not increasing, it's decreasing. Let's write the numbers above seven, six, and five. So now, let's solve it. This one we're going to solve differently. We're going to reduce it by one. So, minus one, minus one, and the same thing here, minus one. So if this is five, this would be four. And the next one would be three. There's our answers. This is 4, and this is 3. So, minus 1 here, too. And that's it. That's your lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If this video helped you out, please like and share. And please, please subscribe to our channel.